Hi, this is Maros. I'm a software engineer for over 10 years and I recently quit my freelancing job to become a full-time indie developer. Today is Friday and it marks my first week as a full-time solopreneur or indie developer, if you will. It's been an interesting week with lots of stuff to be learned and a lot of struggles to deal with. This is basically a whole new life chapter I started and I didn't even realize at first how different my days would feel like. Firstly, my daily schedule can now be discarded and I have to build a new one. One that will fit into my current situation. I don't have to work 8 hours a day on my apps, I can work just 2 hours to make some small changes and release a new version. The question now is, what should I do with the rest of my time? I will admit that I wasn't quite ready for this thought and so I spent some time by just watching YouTube or playing World of Warcraft alongside some small work on my app Trading Tracker. You see, having so many options during the day is tempting. Not once I found myself just wanting to play some more WoW or watch another YouTube video. There's no work schedule, no tasks to finish, no release to be done on a specific date. That's when I realized I need a plan. A plan that will help me figure out what I should work on and when. Without this plan, I would just be spinning my wheels and looking for something to tinker with. In the last few weeks, I've been also working on something new, a new side project. It's called Swift Sail. I mentioned it a couple of times in the recent videos and now I can finally present it to all of you. Swift Sail is a package of a starter iOS project that you can use to build your own iOS app, as well as a bunch of valuable guides where I'm sharing everything I know about building apps and making money off of them consistently. Swift Sail is a culmination of everything I've learned so far while I was growing Trading Tracker to over 3.5k dollars a month in revenue. And I decided to share my know-how with Swift Sail. The way I launched Swift Sale was also an experiment. You see, I'm active on Twitter, or X if you will, and I shared the Swift Sale landing page there with all of my followers that I built just in one single weekend. I launched a pre-order sale. I must say that I was really, really surprised to see that many people pre-ordered Swift Sale even though they had no idea what it really has to offer. And so I made over $1,000 even before the product existed. And that was my confirmation that it's worth spending more time building and polishing it. I scheduled the launch and started building and writing the guides. The whole product was finished just under two weeks and is now fully available for everyone. If you are interested in Swift Sale, you can find the link in the description. Now you might wonder, how is it possible I built the website in just one weekend? I'm not a web developer, so there has to be a trick. And yes, there is actually one. I have some solid foundations of everything I need to know in order to build a website, an app or any other software. That's why I partnered with the guys at Course Careers to bring you a comprehensive guide and course to get you going as a software engineer. You can not only learn the most important fundamentals for your career, but also have an interview with the companies course careers work with. You will be working on your own projects and have them reviewed by your own mentors. You can sign up for the free introductory course without any obligations, and if you use my link down in the description, you can get a $50 off of the full course. Now, something interesting has happened in the last couple of weeks on Twitter in the indie dev community. Everyone is launching boilerplates. There's probably a new boilerplate every other day. One is better, one is worse. It all comes down to one single idea from Mark Liu. He built a boilerplate for Next.js called Shipfast. Link for it is in the description, by the way. He's making around $100,000 a month just from this single idea and everyone wants a piece of cake, of course. What builders of these boilerplates do not realize is that the reason why Mark's Shipfast is so popular is because Mark has a proven track record of successful app ideas that he launched using Shipfast. Most of the boilerplates out there are just a simple boilerplate without real added value. 
In case of Swift Sail, the added value is in the guides I've written and my proven track record of consistent profitability on the App Store. Yes, the market is free and everyone can build whatever they want. It's the execution of the idea that brings success, after all, and Mark did it great and surprised everyone in the community, even himself. And with that, it's time to wrap up this video and this week. It's been a slow one for me, but there is a new week ahead of us and let's make it productive. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and click the like button and I will see you in the next one. Take care.